This is the Sega Master System, and uh, it obviously uh, attempted to compete with the Nintendo Entertainment System, and uh, needless to say, it lost, but it is often an overlooked uh, Sega system. It was the first uh, Sega system in the United States, and I am doing uh, this chapter on the nuts and bolts of hardware and some of the accessories for it. Uh, this is the the, the Master System uh, basic uh, system box. There's several different variants. Um, I'm going to show you three of them. Uh, the Master System originally came bundled with uh, two controllers, a zapper, and hang on and safari hunt. And uh, this box here um, would be one that would come with the hang-on cartridge. Later on, they included it into the, the base system. So here, here is uh, some of the packaging. Obviously, a uh, common foam insert top. You open that up, and you have uh, the power base, is what they call the system. Uh, kind of a weird, strange system. Um, rectangular in shape. It has a pause button on the system, which is kind of unique. Uh, it took two different types of cartridges. It took these uh, say, these small credit card uh, style, style games, and they also took uh, standard uh, Master System cartridges, which look like that. And... Uh, Interesting features about this um, on the back. It could uh, take an AV out uh, for a nice clear picture um, and it, uh, Standard RF switch uh, controllers Came with a zapper uh, uh, Not apologize not the zapper the light phaser. That was Sega's uh, version of the um, Zapper uh, later on, they had to re-release it with an orange tip for safety reasons. Um, the controllers themselves, this was what a standard controller looks like. Um, there were some variants of uh, the actual control pad. Early ones looked like this. They had a little joystick on them. I don't like the joystick, I like the control pad, but some, some classic people may like the little joystick. Anyways, that's that. Uh, system packaging, obviously AC adapter. Um, had SIG on it and control pads. And then the classic uh, RF switch, which they then recycled for um, the next system, the SEGA Genesis. So, <clears throat> later on, so that's the basic uh, system packaging of the Master System. Way later, um, when the when the Genesis uh, was launched, they actually relaunched the Master System and called it the Master System 2. And this is a much smaller, sleeker unit. Um, it is pretty awesome looking. And it's mostly for collectors because they did away with several things. They did away with the, uh, the Sega card slot. And... Um, it came, it was kind of like uh, the Nest 2. It was just a smaller, sleeker, inexpensive version of the Sega. And that's uh, my beat up box. It uh, did come um, built in with Alex Kidd and Miracle World. And you know, like I said, it, it's uh, the power adapter looks kind of weird for the uh, Master System 2. But that's it. And I, you know, I, know, I know it's a uh, the official one because it says Sega right on it. Obviously, came bundled with one of those. And uh, like I said, this is for collectors mostly. I would say if you're going to get one to play, get this one. This one is able to do AV out um, and is a lot cheaper. So you can typically get a Master System. I would say probably 20 to 40 bucks. Boxed a lot harder. Like I said, they made several different version uh, system bundles. Uh, some of the accessories, uh, this is one of the harder to get uh, box accessories, the 3D glasses. And um, they always break. Uh, to find one without any cracks on the 
hinges or on the lenses is pretty hard. This one's complete. Uh, thank you, Specialty Gamer. I have to do a shout out. Uh, he gave me an incredible deal on it. Uh, good friend Gerald. Um, this is a boxed light phaser. You could buy these separately. Um, again, uh, eh, pretty uncommon. Not as hard as to get as that. That's the hard one to get. Um, boxed. And uh, you couldn't use a light phaser or the glasses for many uh, games. Uh, you know, 9 out of 10 games, you're just going to use the standard control pad. They did make some other accessories. Uh, they did make a pretty pathetic uh, control stick. And uh, the kind of interesting thing about that is the buttons are on the opposite side. And uh, it's just, uh, it's not real comfortable to me. I don't prefer it. But it is kind of unique. I think they were they're really going out of their way to be different than Nintendo, I think. And uh, ended up not being the greatest thing. Uh, for an oddity, I found one of these. Uh, it's easy to find for Nintendo, but this is supposedly the Sega Master System Edition. And um, it's a kind of a ball controller where you have the buttons here. And you control the direction with this. It's really kind of a weird controller. But anyways, this is a Sega Master System version. Kind of hard to get. And that's it. Um, like I said, uh, if you're playing the Master System, get this version. If you're kind of wanting to collect the, the harder to get stuff, get the Master System 2. Uh, it is sleek looking. I have to say it looks pretty awesome. Hopefully this helps you out. And thank you for looking at this.